Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday! Aren't you glad it's Friday? I never really know what day it is until it's Friday. Anyway, um, I'm fired up. I'm getting to the point. I'm sticking to under 10 minutes, although my last video I believe was over 10 minutes, but I was very passionate and excited, which I'm going to be about this as well. Um, and don't worry, guys and gals. I know some of these videos are very specifically talking about um, you know, this getting hormonal balance and it's addressing hormonal imbalance. Um, but I will be getting back and we'll be doing a lot of different kinds of videos with, you know, when I go out to, um, Phoenix, I'll be doing workout videos with Whitney and we'll be taking, um, this on location, um, and doing just a lot of stuff, getting, breaking out of the mold. So trust me, it'll get more exciting. Maybe when I have plastic surgery and my facelift for my 46th birthday, you guys can all watch that. I'm just kidding. I don't have it scheduled, but I'm not lying. I'm getting ready to just... We were going over this, oh, with my, the lady that does my hair. And I'm like, how do people do facelifts and not look... That's the problem. Is see, if you start to do this, then you look like this. If you do this, you look like... <laughs> okay. I'm getting off track again. So, here's the deal. Did I mention it's my birthday on April 2nd that I'm 46? Um, I do have an Amazon.com wish list, and you can ship things directly to me, and I will not object and go, oh, you shouldn't have. I'll say, oh, is that all you did? I'm just kidding. I wouldn't say that unless you sent me something really lame. Um, but anyway, I talked about in my the last two videos that I've talked about, it's, it's again been on this topic, but mostly um, kind of speaking to so many of you, and this gets me so fired up that so many of you guys and girls are writing to me saying that you know somebody that has hormonal imbalance that's been seeing a doctor for so long that hasn't gotten any answers or you've been like me you're you're pushing really hard you're being really strict in in your fitness and your health and you're kind of just stuck and you feel like um is something wrong with me i don't understand everybody else does it and they lose weight or they gain muscle or they're getting really ripped and i'm just like you know immobile um so it gets me excited to know that so many of you already at this early phase, when I'm just starting to talk about this, we haven't even started the FitFluential series on FitFluential.com. We haven't even done the Twitter chats with the doctors and the specialists that we're going to do. So it gets me excited that this many people are tuning in and that there's this many people we can help. And I know we've just scratched the surface. Because um, I, again, I've said this in my last several videos. I want all of you that are dealing with this to have the feeling that I have now to go, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm excited from a fitness perspective. I'm excited from just feeling better, from a sleep perspective, from just kind of getting back to feeling like myself again, that there's an answer. I don't have to feel like a freak. I don't have to go to a party in the middle of winter and wear a tank top and be like, have everybody go, it's winter. Why are you wearing a tank top? Oh, because I'm hormonal and I'm hot all the time. And people go, okay. Um, anyway, back on target, three minutes in, here's what I want to talk about on this video, okay? Ladies, a lot of you are writing me, a lot of guys, you're writing to me and saying, well, my wife this, or my girlfriend this, or blah, 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 blah. And here's the thing, I was explaining this to a guy friend of mine. What was I talking to about this? Of course I forget. That's another symptom. Um, and I was explaining that there's so many things that are symptoms or that reflect, um, that can reflect hormonal imbalance. But with women, it's very easy for us to, I don't want to say write everything off, but we, we blame it on hormones or more specifically, we blame everything on our cycle. Okay, men, if you don't want to watch this video, get over it and move on. Okay, you had a mom and, and she had a cycle, so <laughs> that's why you're here. Um, but think about this, ladies, okay? We, we write off things that, we, that are happening to us, physical symptoms, because we always go, it's, it's like, you know, think about it. If you're really hungry, oh, I'm insanely hungry, I'm having all these cravings. Well, hold on, um, my cycle's coming up in 10 days, so it must be why. Or I've heard women go, oh, I'm ovulating, so that's why I'm hormonal, I'm weepy, I'm tired, I'm cranky, I'm irritable. That's why I'm bloated. If, I'm, if, if you're bloated, you go, you don't go, do I have food allergies? Most people go, oh, it must be that it's close to my period. Oh, I must have just gotten my period. Oh, I must be getting my period. And Oh, I'm getting it in 28 days. So it's pre, I'm pre-menstrual. I'm pre-crampy. Why am I crampy? 
happy? Why am I having headaches all the time? Why am I irritable? Why do I have this? And you, you blame everything on your cycle, even though it could be that, oh, well, I'm just three days after my last cycle, so it's, it must be that I just had it. That's why I have these headaches. Or that must be why I'm that, this hungry. That must be why my stomach hurts. That must be, and right, ladies, am I right? You blame everything on that. And furthermore, it's not just that you blame it on that. Then, because you blame it on that, you think, it can't be something I go to see the doctor on. It can't be that there's something wrong with me. This is just the lot I've, I have because I'm a woman. You know, I just have to learn to suck it up and deal with it. Skin problems must be that I'm, I'm I must be breaking out because it's almost my period. Or um, I'm crabby, I'm, I'm very irritable, I'm, I'm upset, I'm, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Oh, it must be that, you know, my periods are just getting worse. You, you start to blame everything, irregardless. I don't even think that's a word, right? It's just regardless, sorry. Um, regardless of what time of the month it is, when your last cycle was, you will always blame it on that. I'm dehydrated, oh wait. Well, it's the middle of the month. It was two weeks since my last and two weeks till my next. Aren't you ovulating? Oh, it's because I'm ovulating, that's why. Okay, so women, you can't start thinking about all the things that you've written off because you blame it on your cycle. And think about the fact that you're kind of blaming things on your cycle, which is like, it ends up being essentially always, because it can always be two weeks before, two weeks after, a week before, a week since, um, three days before, three days after. So it, you're not, God did not design us to be feeling crappy our whole life and to always go, oh, that's why, you know, that's one of the things I'm realizing is like, I started taking the birth control pill when I was 19 and I certainly have experienced side effects, but I never attributed it to that. But furthermore, you know, later in life when I started to get, I guess it was, it was around my divorce. So that's when all of this crazy change started to happen um, with the hormonal imbalance. But I, you know, kept just attributing it to, oh, well, I guess this is the way my body is now. And I was falling into that trap of thinking, it must just be me. This is what happens to me. You know, it's not just what happens to you. And that's like the big thing I want to get across to so many of you guys is just, or, or guys and girls, on one hand, I don't want to tell everybody, you know, become this crazy hypochondriac and assume that you're always sick, that there's something crazy happening. Because we've all met people like that, right? That it's like, you know, their tooth hurts and all of a sudden, you know, they think they're dying. I, that is not at all what I'm trying to encourage. However, women especially, you know, I think men can sometimes tend to avoid going to the doctor, you know, because they want to be macho and whatever. And if you're like people I know, they're scared of needles um, and pills, so they just don't go to the doctor. But women, I, I, again, I think that we write off a lot of stuff. But on the other hand, we know when something's wrong with us. We know when there's something that's not functioning correctly. And when I started going to the doctor for the skin condition that was one of my first symptoms, and when I was saying like, my body temperature's changed, my deodorant that I've used my whole life is suddenly not working, I can't sleep, I would say to every single one of these doctors, there's something wrong with me, there's something bigger that this isn't you know these aren't pimples that i'm getting these rock hard bumps that hurt um you know the fact that i can never sleep is is not you know just a, oh you're just going through a divorce it's no big deal well guess what my divorce was in 2007 and it's still happening it's you know that's long gone that ship has sailed thank god for that here's the thing you you've got to trust your gut um you've got to stop diminishing that certain side effects are, oh, it's just that time in the month, you know? If you and your gut know that there's something really jacked like I did, don't wait three or four years like I did and be scared of what you're gonna find out and be scared that there's no answer. Um, also take very seriously the level of expertise with people. Don't think just because you're going to a doctor, a primary care doctor, or even an OBGYN, that they have the ability to deal with this kind of stuff, okay? I'm not trying to be a jag bag, but certainly there's nobody that I've seen around here that has any idea how to treat what I have. And they are very resentful now when I go into the doctor, but guess what? I showed my blood work to several doctors and all of them are like, you know, everything's fine. And then I go to a specialist who's like, you know, 
you had massive stuff going on. You have met, and, and here's why you have this, 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 and this. All of a sudden, when someone tells you that, you're like, sweet mother of God, I'm not crazy. And there's actually, not only do I know I'm not crazy, but I can fix all of this. Are you serious? Did I just win the health lottery? Amen. So you guys, like I said in my last three videos, don't just take this upon yourself to research it and to think that you can go to Walgreens or Kroger and get natural bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy. And even if it was, you don't know what dose to start giving yourself and what combination of those things that you need. So don't waste your time researching yourself. Don't trust that just any doctor that you go to see can help you with this. Again, not to bash doctors, but don't waste your time. Don't diminish um, symptoms that you're having. If you're having symptoms and you really know that something's not right, then you need to start looking into getting some blood work done and having somebody look at you because you'll, you'll never regret it. So that's it. I'm out. It's 10 minutes. Damn it, I went over. Sorry, you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.